the ups and downs of life. Hello all you beautiful souls out there in my social media family. How are you doing today? My name is Chris and I'm here to help you find your happiness. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the ups and downs of life. Now, this was probably one of the biggest epiphanies that I had when I started to realize that I actually have the choice to experience life in any which way that I choose. What do I mean by that? Well, we obviously, I don't care how old you are, I don't care, you know, what you've, what you, where you live, whether you're, you know, an upper class, lower class, whether you're black, white, American, Chinese, whatever, it doesn't matter. We all experience ups and downs in life. And obviously when the ups are good, you know, when they're happening, it's very easy to manage life. However, when the lows start to happen, when we go down to the downs, how is it that we can start to not allow those things to really take over our, our emotions and keep us in a state of suffering, anxiety, depression, anger, fear, hate, whatever those things are. Well, the way that I've been able to do it is by understanding that everything in life is a choice. So regardless of what's happening in your life, you actually have the ability to change the way that that is affecting you, not just mentally, but also emotionally. And so once you realize that you actually have the choice to, to experience life in whichever way that you choose, it is an amazing way to live life. Now, how do we start to go about doing that? How do we start to, to give us the ability to quickly change the momentum of these downs when they happen? Well, the first part of that is understanding that they're going to happen. <laughs> and it doesn't matter who you are, like I said earlier, they're going to happen. So understanding that there's gonna be ups and downs makes it much easier to manage the downs when they arrive. Why? Because not necessarily that you're expecting them, but you know that they're gonna happen. So therefore, you're prepared on how to manage those things mentally and emotionally. So how do I go about doing that? Okay, the way that I go about doing that is when I start to feel that, that downward swing happening in my life, whether it be at, at, at home, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be with work, whatever it may be, I take a deep breath. And if I have to take another one, I take another one. And then I basically think to myself, interesting, interesting. And what I'm saying there, what I'm actually saying there is interesting what I'm saying interesting to is the way that that event or that situation or that person is making me feel on the inside and what you know so the thought process through me is I say interesting okay I don't like the way this is going I don't like the way this is making me feel so what am I gonna do about it am I going to sit there and allow it to continue to make me feel in a lower vibrational way or am I going to change that and understand that I have the ability to actually use that as a lesson versus a loss. And once you can start seeing those things that happen to you as lessons, that is where you can start to go, oh, okay, that's how I can prevent these things from happening over again. And so that's those are the kind of the steps that I take at, through when I start to feel the downs. I take a deep breath, I realize I'm still alive, then I consciously make the choice not to allow whatever's happening to me to take me down into that downward spiral where I had allowed things to take me into the past. From there, then I'm going to choose how to label that experience. And whether I'm gonna label that experience as negative or good is up to us. And so I'm choosing to label that experience as a lesson. Maybe not necessarily a good lesson, <laughs> because obviously there's certain things that we just don't want to experience. However, I'm still going to label it as a lesson rather than a loss or a mistake. And by doing so, it puts me in a different mindset to not be beating myself up, to not be putting myself down, and to not really allowing those things to get me into those lower vibrational feelings, such as anger, depression, anxiety, those things that we mentioned earlier. From there, you can analyze the situation and then grow from it. And that's one of the things that I really want to encourage you today from this video is to start to take all those things that have happened to you, all those down parts of life, analyze them, 
start to figure out what you were supposed to learn from them. And most likely it's gonna be one of three things. You need to learn to love yourself more, you need to learn to respect yourself more, and most importantly, you need to learn to accept yourself for exactly who you are. Because out of all of those things that I've gone back through, those are the three things that always come up. Because no matter what those things are, now obviously if it's at school or at work, it might be different. But I'm talking about with life and emotional things that happen to us, okay? And by starting to love yourself more, respect yourself more, and accept yourself more, you can start to learn from these experiences that have happened and learn to love yourself again. So that is all I have for today for the ups and downs of life. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And please, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well. Until next time, I'm sending you all much love. Namaste.